Hey guys, welcome back to today's channel. Wow, it's been a really long time since I've uploaded a video. Like over a month, I think. And when was the last time you came to this video? Uh, that's why I don't know. It felt like probably a month. Probably a month ago, yeah. would you? Oh, probably two. But okay. is that the last time you uploaded a video? A month ago. Since I've been Wait, here? Wait, no. Yeah. It's been a week since I uploaded this, uh, uh, a sign language video, but food challenge was like a month ago. For you, it was probably a month ago. Yeah. <laughs> a few weeks ago. So, today we're going to be doing a little something, a little different than what I usually do, which is science of different languages. I have so many cool signs, like signs for Chinese, Spanish, Portuguese, Polish, Filipino, etc. And for today's sign, we're going to be doing, I'm going to be signing Chinese basic words. It should be interesting. But before we get started, I want you to like, share, comment, subscribe. So without further ado, let's get to it. So the first, I say dad. Okay, so this is dad for American Sign Language. So you do this, and this is dad. Dad. But for Chinese, this is dad. You do this, and you do this. Dad. For mom, I say mom in Sign Language. I mean, for American Sign Language, this would be mom. But mom in... Chinese would be like this, and for Mary in sign language, in American sign language, you do this, and then you do this, and then Mary, Mary. But for Chinese version, you do this, you do this, and you just do this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know why they're separated, but yeah, I like the conjoined <laughs> Mary. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But this is girl, girlfriend and boyfriend in American Sign Language. Oh, so that kind of makes yeah. sense. Yeah, but Chinese. I mean, Apparently different. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Next one is called man. So in American Sign Language, this would be man. You do this. I mean, no, you hold the fist and you go man. Man. And for Chinese sign, this would be man. So you do this. Like, but like you put your side foot and you do this man. So like a lecture in American Sign Language, in a way, mm -hmm. like preach. The next sign we have is woman. So this is woman in American Sign Language. Woman, and in the Chinese it's this. That would be this. And child for American Sign Language would be this. And Chinese would be this too. Oh. Yeah, so there, there are different foreign signs, but a lot of them come with I mean, a lot of signs are similar in foreign languages. So. This is how I say like in American Sign Language. You do, you do this, like. But in Chinese, you do this. This, yeah. Like this. Did you know what this means? Lesbian. Oh, really? <laughs> American Sign Language. Yeah. So this means love in Chinese. Where you do this. Oh, I see that. Yeah. But this means love in, love in Chinese. So you do this, and you do this. It's like your pet. Yeah, that's how you say pet in American yeah. Sign Language. I guess they would like to check it. Mm -hmm. It's how you say happy in American Sign Language. And it's how you say happy in Chinese. Yeah. It's a little slower. The what? It's a little slower. I guess. I mean, I, I guess I was just slower. I don't know. <laughs> happy, happy. <laughs> with all the signs for Chinese basic words. Alright. But if you guys would like a part two and a part three of more Chinese signs and yeah, more Chinese signs, just comment down below. If you're interested in learning more, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see, but before I end this video, make sure to follow Michelle on Instagram. My Instagram is Michelle X Oliveira. Yes, and if you guys didn't can't spell that, then I'll just leave it in the, <laughs> list, the link in the description and also in the screen. And be sure to check out my, new, I guess it's not so new, but check out my new previous video. Huh? <laughs> my new YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Oh, but yeah, my Instagram too is always in the link in the description, of course. Um, but my new YouTube channel, it's not so new. I mean, I'm still growing, I guess. But which way I do food challenges and so many cool challenges. It's called the Candy Dust Factory. It's in the link in the description. 
follow her Instagram, my Instagram, my next YouTube, my other YouTube channel where I'll upload cool things. Uh, thanks, Paula. <laughs> um, um, there's this upcoming trip that I'm going to, and I have so many cool YouTube challenges, YouTube ideas to upload on YouTube. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys. And then wait, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I just started this sign language company. I mean, sign language business where I would do more, where I would teach people individually sign language through FaceTime, social media. Through social media, all social media platforms like Facebook, so Instagram. I think I don't, there's no Facebook. I mean, there's no FaceTime for Twitter. No. No. I mean, we can do FaceTime on all third party FaceTime apps, programs like Skype, and etc. So check out this video, this little app that I'll, that I'll put up at the end of the video. But with that being said, I will see you guys in the next time. Hi, Bye. my name is Paul Aramuni. I am a young entrepreneur making a sign language tutorial service for people of all ages. Not only do I want to be able to teach the world the fun language of signing, but also to inspire others to become sign language interpreters as well. There are so few interpreters and so many people that are deaf or hard of hearing that can't reach out to an interpreter because they are booked with other clients. So join the movement of learning sign language and spread the beautiful language of signing to the world. For more information, be sure to email me at paulmrmooney at hotmail.com or simply send me a direct message on Instagram at paul underscore